नमस्कार टू ऑल हु हैव जॉइन दिस सेशन ऑफ कहानी तक बक आई ग्रेटली अप्रिशिएट श्यामलाज आइडिया ऑफ प्रमोटिंग चिल्ड्रंस बुक्स थ्रू चिल्ड्रंस ऑथर्स थैंक यू श्यामला फॉर इनवाइटिंग मी टू दिस सेशन टू इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ आई एम इरा सक्सेना बाय ट्रेनिंग अ साइकोलॉजिस्ट एंड बाय चॉइस a writer a writer especially for children i've been writing short stories novels non fiction poems and picture books what prompted me to become a children's author i can straight away point out two things first the story themselves stories are fascinating the wonder of the stories took me back to my childhood when i used to hear stories from my grandfather and imagine the da- the entire drama being enacted against the backdrop of a starry skies complemented by the metaphors by the choice of words the descriptions of characters then besides my mother who was a writer and a poet she encouraged she was a big encouraging uh, person for me because she used to share her own writing with me and i did not understand anything but at that time but uh, i was fascinated by the flow of language and i like all daughters do i used to copy her posture with a writing pad in my hand and a pencil and scribbled rhymes when i took after writing something i would always take my rhymes for correction one of my rhymes was published when i was 9 years old probably that was the starting point but it was soon dissolved with college activities getting into college writing editing magazine college magazine that was it then i second thing that really encouraged me into or rather ushered me into writing for children was children themselves my own children at home who had a endless demand for stories and a new story every night then in my research for my doctoral degree i was dealing with 4 year olds they were fascinating lot and the the gossip the chat the descriptions the language expressions was amazing so much of variety they had that variety that imagination was very very encouraging by that time i joined writing workshop at children's book trust it was conducted by manorma jaffa and there i met mr shankar mr shankar was a phenomenal personality and who dedicated his life for children he established the children's book trust and he was a very very motivating source he sort of uh, rekindled my the inspiration i had received from my mother in my childhood and i decided to write by the time my doctoral degree my thesis was complete i had already published a few stories in magazines and my first novel island of seagulls was accepted by children's book trust so that decided for me i drifted from counseling child counseling and took over writing as a full time profession at home in those days the atmosphere was totally computer based it was technology and computers my husband being a it professional and both my sons following in the footsteps of my of their father 
would be talking all the time about computers even the friends who came over they would be talking about computers the various programs and what not the computer speak was all around i picked up words i picked up phrases that these people used all the time and one day i dared to ask my husband the accuracy of a plot that i had devised he liked it but he said technology is not like fantasy which you can twist and turn according to your whims and fancies it is before writing something on computers read about it now that was that dashed all my hopes because i did not have a science background but the books that my husband asked me to read that next day they were all futuristic very exciting very adventurous and explained the technology in such simple words that anybody could understand the concepts that's what i did i got the concept i could understand what computers can do although i never went into the nitty gritty of how to manage a computer how to handle various programs that was not required and in in uh, planning the books actually immediately i thought of writing a trilogy because three solid ideas came up the first one had dealing with uh, the jumble of uh, optic nerve the network and the fascination of emails and what they could do where all that technology can lead to that book was called caught by computer this was the first one i translated this book computer ke jaal mein the next book that followed dealt with the the uncanny fears that viruses can give and the different kind of computer viruses and utilizing the computer virus to kill another virus this was the virus trap this was received very well and virus trap got the first prize for writing by children's book trust the third was the web trail this is all about uh, a bunch of villains rich villains rich people in big businesses challenging online money transfers and creating problems so it is uh, the computer buffs and the terrorists who indulge in uh, money transfer and uh, who indulged in uh, swiping the money from the right channels so their chase on online chase on the web trail so that is the main plot of this novel the three books appeared at different time intervals but my i my decision of writing a trilogy was complete what impressed me while writing these books was i learned and i stuck to the idea that human intellect is far superior to technology because technology becomes just a tool in the hands of people human intelligence can overcome anything and secondly every novel every adventure which requires a lot of action there is no physical action as such but the mental action the speed of thought that very suitably substituted for the 
action which physical action which is required for an adventure novel both these things they stuck to me but technology was advancing like anything by leaps and bounds well beyond my reach and my mind was drifting away into other avenues and i was very much interested at that time in uh, environment i wrote a novel called the green plan for the green planet this was published by children's book trust and uh, dealing with uh, it's an adventure story and friend friendship between aliens and human beings and they help in uh, interesting situation where cosmic energy to a large extent is going to do damage lot of experimental plants and turn the soil into a desert so the himalayan greenery would be banished after that there was uh, the inspiration i got was uh, a memorial which was being built in the thar region where hundreds of bishnois were slaughtered along with the trees when they tried to prevent the king's men this was the curse of grass because not even a blade of grass grows on that patch where the forest existed and where the trees fell were felled along with the men women and children short story throughout has been my favorite genre i still write short stories and i have prepared collection of short stories one is faces in my cupboard talking about different people character oriented stories actually story making a story collection is a very tedious job because good story ideas they sprout at distant intervals and you can't make a compilation straight away it takes a lot of time i made i've written pet stories and the latest story collection which is uh, in making is a, a story collection for young adults about teens and the problems the teens are undergoing they had been undergoing and in the modern times also people are really fascinating it's always the people that really made me think of a plot made me decide on the structure of uh, the story and at that time i took a challenge i gave a challenge to myself that i will write in hindi because all along i was writing in english and i wrote manmoji mama ji i constructed this character mama ji because mama ji or chacha in the family they are the most darling people that young nephews and nieces relate to this mama ji he is uh, a normal person with lots of whims and fancies and he lives up to his whims and fancies without any um, without the, without hurting anyone he means very well although there is eccentricity which becomes funny this novel manmoji mama ji it won an award for writing which encouraged me to write more in hindi and i realized that i could uh, write successfully in hindi as well as i could tickle the funny bone in the readers another book story collections for that followed was mama ji ne musibat pali funny antics by mama ji that always land him into trouble but the ultimately it uh, the entire situation the entire 
seen is a happy one. India was turning 40 around that time and there was a lot of talk going on uh, about uh, the freedom movement and independence. I was, this was an atmosphere which I had lived, my mother being a freedom fighter. I was, I used to hear about Khadi, about Swadeshi and the non-violence, how Gandhiji was able to mobilize the will of people. So all that uh, we thought, we I mean, I joined in with two of my friends, like-minded friends, and we wrote the history of freedom struggle. It's called the triumph of non-violence. My two friends are Neelima Sinha and Surekha Panandikar. The three of us, we worked, studied history intently, met freedom fighters. And along with this book, we wrote one book called Kamala's Story, A Saga of Indian Independence from the point of view of a little girl and a collection of stories, true stories of ordinary people who participated in the movement and what they went through. So the entire freedom movement is, is spanned through with in these short stories about pe ordinary people. It's called Together We Marched. The idea of Gandhian thought and the spirit of non-violence really impacted me. And I used that in this adventure novel called Gad Mukta Ki Talash. The young protagonist, 11-year-old old girl, she is given the custody of an heirloom by her grandfather which he has to protect. She takes, uh, keeps the heirloom, and the, but somehow it gets lost. And the entire story is about the chasing of, for this heirloom. And how gradually the spirit of nonviolence and the freedom movement takes control of her thoughts and she starts believing in Gandhian thought and becomes a young character who believes in something. That is strengthened my own belief and Gandhian views non-violence, they have stayed in my heart for forever. This book, Gaj Mukta Ki Talash, came from my heart and I, it has been quite successful. I got, this book got the first prize and I received Shankar's medal for writing. I, from here, I went on to writing some serious the topics also, which I will be talking in the second phase of the Kahani Tatbak session. Meanwhile, if you have any questions, do write to me on saxena, S-A-X-E-N-A, dot ira, I-R-A, at the rate of gmail.com or through Kahani Tatbak. See you in the next session.